So right there it gives you the color of his hair. The King James is very poetic, but it's not it's accurate. Not, no, no, it's no, not no, accurate no, no. to read, the original read, text. Read, read. It's not an accurate. That's why the snow. See, not, see when, when, when Jesus is a white man, it's accurate. But when right. we're telling you he's a black man, all of a sudden it's no, not accurate. No, I'm Jewish. It's never accurate. You're not I'm a Jew. Yeah, all right? yeah, You're not yeah, an Israelite. Are. You're not an Israelite. Yeah. 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 You could be Jewish. That's the Jews are Jewish. You could be Jewish. I'm not Are you an Israelite? I'm calling myself. Are you an Israelite? That's not a belief that I'm willing to. Are you an Israelite? Right That's not a belief. I got a priest. No, it's not. It's irrelevant to the Jews. Aren't the Jews, aren't Jews, aren't the Jews Israelites? According to the Torah? Was Moses an Israelite? Who did, who did Moses bring out of Egypt? I mean, the Jews the or the Israelites, the children of Israel? Both. They're synonymous. They're the same people. Are you an Israelite? You can't answer that because you're not an Israelite. He knows what Zondervan is. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood right. and one of eight persons to live through the flood he became he became the progenitor of the dark races what does progenitor mean? Father, okay. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. He became the progenitor of the dark no races, races, not the, the Negro. Negro. Not the Negro. Who? 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 Oh, now who said that? Let him see it. 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 Let him so called Jews. Ain't got nothing to do with being white. All the slave ships that came here. Anti Semitic. We're Semitic. We're Semitic. We're Shemites. How we anti against ourselves? See, that's a buzzword. That's how you know they're anti Semitic. When you throw them in their wickedness, they try to throw that out there. Oh, the Holocaust. Oh, my God. The Holocaust. What about slavery? Oh, my God. There you go. They got to go. Bye bye. Bye bye, Devil. Who's the sound effect? Who's the sound effect? Who's the sound effect? Prepare for slavery, all right? Bye bye. Bye bye, Devil. Who's the sound effect? Prepare for slavery. Bye bye. Bye bye, Devil. Who's the sound effect? Prepare for slavery. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Raka Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of great. Millstone. Also a shalom to the hopeful elect and the elect that's laboring. Okay, and I want to do a response video off the brothers GMS uh, class of kings up uh, the main camp. Um, they did a video called Jewish Couple Slither Away from the Biblical Truth. Now, when you watch this video, <laughs> they got sliced all the way through. Which is a beautiful thing to see, okay? But um, I'm just going on a comment, uh, and that's what I want to touch on this comment. And it's, it, it, you know, Esau going to make his monkey jokes or whatever you want to call us. Uh, but as I said, uh, the Edomite woman seemed intrigued. And the brother at the end, that's what the brother, uh, whoever made a comment said, one of the brothers said, hey, uh, she going to be a concubine in the kingdom. Which... More likely, rightfully so. Uh, you know, whoever we want, if the, the elect wants to be concubines, going to be concubines. I, and and the, the thing I'm trying to get into is I can't understand why Jake, in the truth, d doesn't have a righteous uh, spirit. What I mean by righteous, he, want, J he wants everybody to curse, curse out the white man. He wants everybody to, to cut them with scriptures and curse out the white man. But the other part, the other meat to these scriptures as uh, the payback of Esau, not only the white man, but his woman too, Jake wants to protect the so-called black woman. And I, I'll show you that in this lesson. Jake is under the vibration of his woman. Okay? Uh, this, man, the Lord is not dealing with this world. Okay? He ain't dealing with this western-ass culture, this western-ass society. Okay, now there are, I've even saw women and I've heard of women say that these damn Edomite women need to get uh, deserve to get paid back what was done to us. I'm, I'm speaking as so-called black woman, okay, or Israelite woman. Let me say that, 
There's a lot of Israelite women that understand, a few, let me say that, that understand that this white woman, or her, her counterpart, okay, has to be paid back as well. You think the white woman just going to come marching in the kingdom, and she's not going to be a, a slave and a concubine and a bed witch? Come on, man. So they just get pushed aside. The white woman, let, let her do what she does. Get out of here, man. The Lord said he's a man of war. And what is war uh, comprised of, man? Okay? Slavery. This is John 18 and 36. And I'll get a comment, man. Uh, you coons, you coons for the black woman has got to stop, man. Uh, it says, Yahweh answered, and Yahweh answered, my kingdom is not of this world. Okay, so the Lord's kingdom, Yahweh's kingdom is not of this world. What does this world say? You can only have one wife. What does this world say? You don't have concubines or slaves. What does this world say? Everybody can make it. And a lot of you guys that claim Israelites, you fold into all these uh, mythological beliefs because that's all it is, it's a myth you believe the white man can make it and if it ain't that, cut the white man but his white woman is going to be left alone uh, if it ain't that then the, 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 uh, the slavery is not going to be harsh for the white come on man you know um, let's get the comment and I'll get to the uh, lesson uh, further the lesson okay it says um I left a comment that said the Edomite woman looked intrigued. She's digging on y'all Jake. And if you notice, the Edomite woman was just smiling ear to ear. She don't even have respect for a man. In fact, these heathens have a better understanding. The scripture says they're wiser than uh, the children of light. The Edomite women have a better understanding what it is being women than our own fucking women, man. Okay? The Edomite woman... I was going to help set the stage, so to speak, of what it is to be submissive, man. Because you you see these so-called black women in the Israelite schools, the first thing they do when trouble happens, they get up there and do a big-ass video talking about the, what happened in the school, the man was abusive, the man set me up, match-made me, the man did, and they expose everything on you guys, man. But you don't see that with the so-called white woman, Okay? Now, this is not to say I'm favoring Edomite woman. Hell no. Okay? But it's just to say that you guys got to come off that spirit of up under your so, uh, so under the so-called black woman, man. Okay? Let me read one of the comments. And this is probably the only comment I'm going to read. I'm going to get on this one. <clears throat> it says, um, Brother, chill with those unnecessary comments. <laughs> we brothers need to stop being so thirsty after the white woman you know what you know what that goes that locks into feminism even in the israelite movement you know who says that stuff black woman black woman the way, main ones to obtain to the doctrine that the so-called israelite man is not to mess with the white woman now when you get in the story of king solomon's uh, i believe second kings 11th chapter the scripture says he loved many strange women okay which he wasn't supposed to love those strange women. That's why it said the scriptures went on when he said because of his wives turned him away from his heart. Not his concubines. Why? Because concubines is it has really not much of importance. They're nothing more than sex slaves. Okay? You guys, a lot of you Jake are not real men. That's why you even have trouble dealing with the so called black woman in the truth. A lot of you guys are just trying to big up the so called black woman. And as I said in, in our earlier in our live stream, you got a lot of Jake who want to lead the steed and talk shit and curse out the white man, right? But when we curse out the nigga woman, the so-called black Israelite woman or the main ones on the comment board say, well, wait a minute. We need, hey, we're your sister too. Y'all turning away the sisters. But when we curse out a nigga, you don't see the black woman saying that, do you? You only see you coons, you save a whole coons doing that, man. You won't say, hey, that's your brother. Stop cursing him out. You won't say that. But when it comes to that black woman, you Jake will do anything to defend those so-called black women, man. And that's why you're doing it. Let me read that comment again. Brother, chill with those unnecessary comments, okay? We brothers 
need to stop being so thirsty after the white woman. And secondly, it's not about white or black, man. You got white women that are Israelites, okay? You got white-looking women, let me say that, that are Israelites. No Edomite can, is an Israelite. But there's women who look white that are actually Israelites, okay? You niggas, you jakes, man, you need to put on a ruling class mentality and put on that man spirit. Then you got guys say that we're not going to have sex in the kingdom. That's because you ain't doing shit right now. Okay? A lot of you guys are soft. And your women ain't dealing with you, man. Okay? Now, we understand under the curse, our women ain't with us. But for the most part, you might get a halfway decent woman. And you guys are too goddamn soft, man. That's why our women don't respect us. Okay? One of the reasons. The Lord put the curse on us. But look at you, man. You're simps. A woman ain't going to respect simps. No woman, they, they crave that attention. Okay? You jakes need to put, you you know, if, if you're a man and you're trying to uh, uh, get with the Israelite woman, the first uh, uh, task at hand really is this truth. That's your main woman. But you need to be putting them in some form of order. If you can't, get rid of them. It's just that simple, man. Jake put too much in the woman, man. Okay, this is Proverbs 31 and 3. Uh, going to King Leomel, it says, Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways that which destroy of kings. Okay? That's a destroyer of a king, man, to sit up there and say uh, that you're not going to have white women as concubines, man. Well, not just white women. They got a problem. You notice, they all got a problem with the white woman thing, the Edomite. Well, what about the Ishmaelites, man? The Elamites? Cushites? Okay? What about the Japetic woman, the so-called Hawaiians? Hey, they not going to be uh, uh, servants and concubines? Come on, man. You guys need to cut that madness out, man. This is Isaiah 49 and 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth, toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Okay? Now the Lord is speaking through men. So guess what? The elect is going to be lords. Okay? They're going to know that you're, the, you're, men, you're men of the Most High, man. And guess what? It's going to start with them bowing down at their feet. And when you looked at this video, the goddamn Edomites was in pure form of humility. They almost was thirsting after them. Jake, we don't have to thirst after no so-called white woman, number one, or heathen woman. They thirst after uh, us, man, because they know through the spirit that we're going to be the new rulers and kings on this earth, man. Okay? So you guys that got that spirit of the so-called black woman hindering you and caught up. And, and you know what? It's not my concern, really, because you ain't in our truth. I'm sure they're not in Great Millstone making comments like that. Okay? We've had Edomite women say they they don't mind want to be concubines. They they will sacrifice that in order to put the earth back in some form of order. That's why you got women all over YouTube twerking, women all over these uh, uh, going into grocery stores wearing all this shit. I go in the supermarket or the uh, the the warehouse or whatever, uh, uh, um, a mart or whatever you want to call it, and even the Ishakar Ishakarite women, even the Ishmaelite women now. Awareness, this provocative stuff, man. Why are they doing that? Because there's something in their spirit that they're trying to be taken by a real man. Okay? They want to be taken. Now, I'm not saying to go out and take nobody. But in their spirit, they want somebody to connect with them in strength. And you guys ain't got it. So by you sitting up there bowing your heads to the so-called black woman, don't mess with that. They get all on the comment board saying that. Y'all love white woman. Y'all love white woman. And a black woman, the black queen, the so-called black queen is sitting back with a smile on her face. Watching you be a slave and a servant to her, man. If you're a real woman in the knowledge and the truth, you should want these so-called white women to get what they deserve, man. Okay? And the so-called white man. But thus saith the Lord in Isaiah 55, 5th chapter, the Lord's word is not going to return to him void, man. Okay? Simple as that. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan, would say they are Jews and are not, 
but, but do lie. Behold, I will make them and come and worship before thy feet and to know that uh, I have loved thee. Okay? So ultimately, now when you go to Revelation 2 and 9, that was talking about other, you know, Israelites, but when you fast forward to the day, Guess what? They're gonna those those heathens. They're gonna worship at our feet. What does it mean to worship at our feet? To do what the hell we say in righteousness, man. Okay. Now, when you read again, there's many scriptures on that. Joel third chapter when he said, "I will sell your sons, uh, uh, who you scattered amongst the Grecians. I will sell your sons and daughter." What do you think that means, man? You think we're just gonna be getting white women and, and Elamite women, so-called Arab women, whatever you want to call it? And we just going to sell them and, and have them sitting there as statues? Is that is that all they're going to be used for? Well, let's go to Revelation 18 and 6. And I'm just quoting it. The scripture says, reward her. Talking about Esau, really America and Esau. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And the cup she had filled, filled to her double. Okay? And I said in that video. Oh, if, they, you, if dumb devils took 40 slaves... Yes, uh, 40 concubines, guess what? We're going to take 80 or more. It's just a number. Okay? Um, the bottom line is, man, this, this thing is not, number one, about women. Why, why do you get all caught up and crazed over some fucking white woman, man? It ain't about white woman. It's about author authority, having the authority, okay, and the power in the kingdom, man, that the Lord's going to set up under the house of David. The Lord's going to set up authority uh, in the kingdom of heaven, man. And part of that authority is slavery. They did it to us. You guys, you guys that even in the truth that don't want Esau to get paid back for what he did, then you are one of those coons reincarnated back doing the same thing, just under, you know, another, uh, just doing it another way. That's all it is, man. You ain't nothing but a goddamn coon, man. That's what I take on that, Shalom.